Communist Party Headquarters, East Berlin, Wednesday, August the 9th. Like a veteran stage producer preparing for the performance of a lifetime, Walter Ulbricht rehearsed every scene with his lieutenants in the last crucial hours before his August the 13th curtain call. His drama, codenamed Operation Rose, would play for one night only. He would have no second chance to get it right. No detail was too small for Ulbricht's attention, nor that of the man he had deputized to direct the show, Erich Honecker, the Central Committee's chief for security matters. At age 48, Honecker had two qualities that had recommended him, unquestioned loyalty and unmatched organizational capability. With his cone back graying hair and Mona Lisa smile, Honecker had come a long way from his days as the young, handsome communist rabble-rouser who had spent a decade in Hitler's jails during the 1930s. He knew his operation could catapult him past rivals to become the front-runner for Ulbricht's eventual succession. It also could save German socialism. Failure would cost him his career, and perhaps his country. <laughs>